A devastating loss for local business owners right before the holidays. A fire destroyed several buildings at the Plant City Farm and Flea Market over the weekend. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino joins us now live from Plant City. I mean, the timing of this couldn't be worse. It's horrible any time, but right before the holidays. Right, Jen, good evening. It's heartbreaking to hear it. And I want to show you just how devastating the damage is. As you can see here, the dumpster here full. They have been cleaning it up all day, and there's still this charred mess left behind. Now, inside these buildings, there was a lot of produce and other items belonging to vendors. So as you mentioned, right before the holidays and any time, this is a big loss. Video from Saturday night shows the intense flames that ripped through the Plant City Farm and Flea Market. The fire destroyed three buildings and everything inside. With the buildings and the vendors that were set up here, uh, probably be somewhere between $200,000 and $250,000. Ferris Waller, the owner of the wholesale market, says years ago he experienced a similar loss. Today, crews cleaned up the charred mess left behind. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the fire, but the loss is also devastating for several vendors who rented space and lost everything. Like a lot of people, they live from day to day, and we're trying to make some accommodations to be able to get them somewhere else they can operate out of. Saturday afternoon, I brought like eight pallets of tomatoes and put them in there, but Saturday night, they were gone. Jose Hernandez with Hernandez & Son Produce lost at least $20,000 in produce and equipment. Now, just before the holidays, he is left trying to recover from the massive financial loss. All the money that you spend buying all that produce is gone there, and you know, you're not going to see it no more. It's gone. So, yeah, I have to start again. I reckon life goes on, and uh, it's just going to be a real struggle for them. Now, we've also learned firefighters had to haul water in because they had a lack of fire hydrants nearby. Certainly, that made the situation worse. And the owner of the flea market tells me he believes the cause of the fire to be a faulty extension cord. I reached out to the fire department, but have not yet heard back for more details. Jen? Just a heartbreak for all of those folks, though. Melissa Marina reporting live from Plant City. Thank you.